I thought I told you never to come back here. I'm trying to help you. What gives you the right? What's the difference between you and me? The difference is... I don't collect Funko Pops. Hey guys, thanks so much for clicking on this video. My name is Chris. I got to see the Batman early, and with the Batman, we are again set in a rebooted timeline with director Matt Reeves at the helm and Robert Pattinson starring as our Cape Crusader. We follow Batman in his second year of crime fighting when, out of nowhere, a green masked figure starts taking down powerful people in Gotham. Batman is put on the job to go ahead and solve the case and figure out why he's doing all of this. And that's all pretty much it without giving any spoilers to so you guys. This is a spoiler free review. I am definitely gonna be be talking spoilers once the movie's actually released so stay subscribed for that and i know what you're thinking you're looking at this grown man in a batman suit surrounded by all these figures and going gee i wonder if he liked the movie when you should have been wondering if i'm gonna share the love you guys know with movies i'm hyped for i'd like to do a little giveaway so if you want your own mcfarlane batman figures and riddler and batman funko pop just like subscribe and comment down below your favorite interpretation of batman and i'll be picking someone at random to get these so with that out of the way you gotta admit one thing with batman okay he's warner brothers star player he's the man that's always out in the field being shined out getting rebooted every other year so much so that i think this was one of the first times when they announced a rebooted Batman a lot of people were like really again but I started getting really invested with the project when they announced Matt Reeves as director as he's someone I really enjoyed his work in the Planet of the Apes movies the cast was just getting better and better with people like Paul Dano Colin Farrell Zoe Kravitz and then everybody remembers the shockwave that was that first Batman trailer where even the naysayers became fans and anticipated this movie the hell are you supposed to be and now that I saw the movie like two days ago, I have not been able to stop thinking about this movie. Matt Reeves freaking understands Batman. I don't want to make this review about comparing other Batman movies or interpretations of Batman, but believe me when I say that the Batman with Matt Reeves and Robert Pattinson is on the same groundbreaking level that when The Dark Knight came out. Whether you end up liking this movie more or less than The Dark Knight, that'll be completely up to you, but believe me when I say it is on that same level for setting a new standard for what a Batman film should be. Just the opening sequence sequence alone lets you know how different of a Batman film they're gonna be. When they mentioned this film was like a horror movie, that wasn't just some BS they were throwing around. This film has actual horror movie vibes. Paul Dano's Riddler really surprised me the way he came out and was portrayed on screen as Riddler. Not saying I ever doubted Paul Dano as the Riddler because the man is a fantastic actor, but from all the marketing, he seemed to be a straightforward psychopath that was just going ahead and getting rid of people in Gotham City. When you actually watch the movie, the man plays him wacky. Like the same crazy and eccentric way that Jim Carrey and the 60s Riddler came out a little over the top, Paul Dano does that same thing, but he adds an element that they didn't have, and that is be terrifying. While the Riddler will actually end up making you laugh in a lot of scenes, there will be times when you're like, this guy is absolutely crazy. And he shoots up there as one of the best on-screen Batman villains we've had. Jeffrey Wright as James Gordon was also a really great casting choice, playing this Boy Scout cop that just wants to help solve this crime, even if that means working with a crazy man like the Batman. He just comes off as one of the most likable people in this movie. Now getting to it, Robert Pattinson as Batman, yeah, he is the Batman. And one of the reasons that made it very easy to embrace and get into his version of Batman is because for this almost three hour movie, Robert Pattinson is in his bat suit for 80% of it. And that was kind of surprising that we got that much of Batman in this movie in full costume, going ahead and being a real detective solving these riddles. That's one of the most funnest parts of this film is Riddler will give out several different riddles throughout the course of this movie. And you have like 20 seconds before Batman just flat out says the answer and goes, damn, this guy's smart, man. I would never thought of that. But it's not just showing the detective side of this Batman. And this guy is also a brute. You feel his presence. He is a real threat to criminals. And that is also part of the opening sequence of this movie. Batman actually narrates a couple of times in this movie, giving you an insight to his inner thoughts, which I think was very necessary because this film doesn't go ahead and waste time with origin stories or filling you in on what this Batman has been doing for the past two years. They just drop you 
into this story where Batman is basically at a level of being really good at his job. I could go on and talk more about each one of these cast members, but the thing I liked most that this movie pulled off is the story and mystery at hand connects everybody in Gotham. And that's what makes everyone's introduction into this film so smooth, because you have a lot of Batman characters. You have Catwoman, the Penguin, Riddler, Carmen Falcone, James Gordon, all these people that you're like, man, this movie feels overstuffed, but the way they play out, the mystery that Batman is solving, it makes sense that all these people get involved, that he ends up talking to them, wanting to see what's actually going on. So where I know some people were worried they would just like push aside people like the Penguin, a great Batman villain, but no, boy gets his time to shine, and Colin Farrell's performance as Penguin is also amazing. I also gotta mention how visually stunning this movie is. Matt Reeves knows exactly when to use practical effects and use CGI effects. I don't think there was one bad shot in this movie that made me go, ooh, that's not gonna look good in like two years. It feels like you could pause this movie at any time and then just frame that as art in your house. Gotham here feels so immersive and like a different world you're stepping into. I am just so excited for people to see this movie because I truly mean it. Matt Reeves understood the assignment about what Batman should be like. Down to his moral code, the way he portrays himself, the action on screen, the use of his gadgets. Some comic book fans might understand me on this. When you're watching animated Batman, whether it be in the Batman animated series or one of the animated movies they come out with, like maybe Under the Red Hood, that is one of my personal favorites, you watch those movies and you go, man, why can't they make Batman like this? Why can't they just get his persona like they do in the animated stuff and put him in live action? And that's what they do here all the way. Not just that, but the world they've created. Matt Reeves is very careful with the way he unravels some of the lore, where he expands this universe, where he doesn't always give a definitive answer. But I feel like that's what kind of excels this Batman origin. It doesn't feel the need to explain everything going on. It just focuses on telling you a great Batman story, and I think they'll exceed those expectations for you. Now, usually, this would be the part of the review where I start talking about some negatives, but this is one of those films that is so damn good, so well crafted that you're like, everything I have negative is just like a tiny little nitpick. One thing that bothers me is like Paul Dano's Riddler disappears for like a good chunk of the movie. And he's portrayed so good on screen that for this chunk, as Batman is solving other parts of this mystery, it makes sense for Riddler not to be there, but you do go, man, when is the Riddler gonna come back into this? I wanna see that boy again. And also maybe for casual fans who aren't like all into the know of Batman lore involving like the Penguin, Carmen Falcone, the Riddler, Catwoman, I can see them maybe not being as interested with the mystery at hand. Because for an almost two and a half hour movie, if you're not gonna get into these characters that you've been waiting to see all with Batman there, you might lose your interest a little bit. But me as a Batman fan, I was just so into it, the way they were just unraveling this world. Plus with Batman being in the suit 80% of the time, there is definitely enough action fighting and detective work to intrigue you with his version but really those are just tiny little nitpicks i am so in love with matt reeves's version of the batman and i think a lot of you out there will love this one it might even become your new favorite batman movie i hate saying things like that because i feel like it'll create some overhype for some people but like this movie just meets those expectations. So with Matt Reeves as the Batman, I'm gonna give action four and a half stars here. With Batman being in his suit for 80% of the film, they have a lot of action scenes thrown out here from hand-to-hand -hand combat, car chase scenes in the Batmobile that is fantastic. Everything they did down to the choreography, making this Batman feel like a brute and actual threat. Along with the visual style Matt Reeves has here, it's really good. Comedy in the movie, this one kind of surprised me. I'm gonna give it two and a half stars here, and that's more than I was expecting for this Batman film. Not to say that there there's lighthearted moments, but there's definitely things in here that were made to purposely make you laugh and have fun with this film. It's not just all dark, brooding, and sad and depressing. No, they know that this is Batman at the end of the day. You're supposed to get a chuckle here and there. And Matt Reeves just has a great sensibility for that. Drama in the film, I'm gonna give it four and a half stars. The story in here was the best part about this movie. The way they can connect all these legacy Batman characters, make it fit in while introducing you to a new Batman and really getting you invested into this world. Like, I I am chomping at the bit for more stories in this universe. Hard in the film, I'm gonna give it two stars, and that really is all thanks to Paul Dano's Riddler. The man is straight up a psychopath. You do not want to be caught in one of his traps. They really do push the PG-13 rating in here, where I'm surprised they got away with some of these things. And suspense the film, I am gonna give it four stars. There are moments in here where I was scared for certain characters that they weren't gonna make it out of a situation, or that Riddler was gonna get their hands on them. And the movie also does a great thing sometimes, where you're seeing the POV of Batman, but you also get the POV of Riddler. So there'll be times in this movie where you're like, oh good, Batman's here, he's about to save this person. Then you realize, 
oh crap, we're in the POV of the Riddler right now. This person's gonna be gone. Casual fans, I'm gonna give it an A+. Cinephiles, I'm gonna give it an A+. Critically, I'm gonna give it an A+. Man, the freaking Batman gets the 3C guarantee. It's a fantastic film and I think a lot of people will be feeling the same way that once they come out of it, you just kind of want to see it again and be in that world one more time. Let me know if you guys are excited for The Batman, if you're still someone after hearing me gush about it, whether you're just not that excited for it. And if you have seen it, because I know there's fan screenings tomorrow that I'm definitely attending, let me know if you love this version of Batman and you're excited for more stories in this universe. And don't forget to stay tuned for the spoiler review once it's officially released on Friday. Also be sure to like, subscribe, follow me on Twitter at 3 Films or on TikTok at 3 3C Films, but as always, I'm Chris Batchinson. Take care.